Okay, this little video is on using the three by three determinant idea with minors and cofactors for cross products of vectors. So we did cross products of vectors in the previous unit just using the rule of SARS. Um, and recall that if we had a couple of three by three vectors, these had to be three by three. So let's say we had five, one, two, and we're trying to cross it with uh, two, negative one, four. Uh, the way we did that before was we, cr we created a 3x3 three three determinant with i, j, and k, the little unit vectors in the x, y, and z direction. And we put the components here, 5, 1, 2, and then 2, minus 1, 4. And we did the rule of SARS where we repeated this column over here, and repeated this column next to that, and then we did three diagonals going that way three diagonals going this way, added, subtracted, and we got the cross product. Uh, for this one, we are going to just expand by minors. Now, remember, for we can use any row in any column. I'm going to use this first row. So I'm going to have i hat times a little 2 by 2, and that 2 by 2 is right here. So 1, 2, negative 1, 4. It is going to be a positive 1. Uh, remember, the, the powers of negative 1 come from negative 1 to the row plus column. So this was one row, one column. And by the by, there's a nice shortcut for this. In all of these uh, powers of 1, they follow sort of a, a pattern like a checkerboard, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. So depending where you are, you can just read off the, the sign that's generated by looking at a checkerboard pattern. For a 3x3, three three, it's going to look like this, right? so plus, minus, plus. For this first row, it's going to be plus, minus, plus. And that way we don't have to calculate the power of negative 1. Okay, so we have a plus i times its minor. We're going to have a minus j times its minor. Okay, so here's j. We would cross off this row in this column, and we see these guys, 5, 2, 2, 4, 5, 2, 2, 4. And then plus k times its minor. Uh, for this row, this column go away. So there's the minor. 5, 1, 2, negative 1. 5, 1, 2, negative 1. All right? And uh, each of these is pretty easy to do. So as I calculate these components, I'll just throw them right up in here. This is 4. Uh, and this is a negative 2. So we've got to subtract 4. Minus a minus 2 is 6. That gives us six eyes. Okay, let's see. This is 20 and 4, so we're subtracting. 20 minus 4 is 16, but there's a minus sign, so that's minus 16. And then here we have negative 5 and 2, but we have to subtract, so negative 5 take away 2 is negative 7, and that's going to be our cross product. You may find this much quicker and easier than using the rule of Saurus. Uh, remember, there is a check. Uh, the check that we use was to make sure that this cross product is orthogonal to each one of these original factors. Uh, and we do that with dot products. Okay, so let's see. We have 5, 1, 2, dotted with 6, negative 16, negative 7. That had better be 0. If it's not, then we've made a mistake. And likewise, 2, negative 1, 4. 2, negative 1, 4 dotted with our cross product, 6, negative 16, negative 7. That better be 0. If those are not 0, there's, there's an error. Uh, if both of these do work out to be 0, there's a good chance we did everything right. So let's go ahead and check the dot products and see how they play out. Uh, what do we have? We have 30 uh, minus 16 and then minus 14. And sure enough, 30 minus 16 minus 14 does work out to be 0. Okay, so that's promising. So let's do the same thing here. This is 12 uh, minus, uh, minus 1 minus 16. That's plus 16. And then 4 uh, minus 7 is what? Minus 28. Minus 28. So we have 28, take away 28, and that's 0. So good. So we, it seems like we do have the correct cross product. This cross product is perpendicular to this one. It's also perpendicular to that one, right? orthogonal, if we use the correct terminology. Okay, great.